Hi, I'm Sherry Martin, and tonight on Heart of the Home, my buddy Johnson Collins, one of my favorite guests, is here to help me celebrate. What are we celebrating? The one-year anniversary. The one-year anniversary of Heart of the Home. We've been on the air a year. We've had a lot of fun. We've done some simple recipes. We've done some good recipes. You helped with a deer recipe. And tonight, um, we have a friend who's going to come by and bring us a special dessert. While we're waiting on Miss Lucy... Johnson and I are going to talk about something that I never forgot. In the eighth grade, I had a really special teacher, my home ec teacher, Mrs. Maisel Kemp. Loved her. Absolutely loved her. And she taught me some really simple things that I never forgot. And I hope to teach you some simple things that you won't forget. One of them is how to set a table. You don't just grab a fork. You do salad fork, dinner fork. What is this fork for? Um. How about an appetizer or a shrimp cocktail? kind of looks like a baby fork, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, everybody um, should learn to set the table correctly. And today, we're just going to talk a little bit about that and some of the things that you do need to learn because someday you may be entertaining the governor. What do you think of that? Okay, Miss Johnson, now, I'm going to take these apart. You've seen how the table's set. Do you think you can do it now if I remove them? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Now, you decide how you put them correctly back in place. And you know, you can use linen na napkins too. On our formal table, we iron and use linen napkins. That's not one of my favorite things because I usually get to iron the napkins. But today we're gonna use paper because we're using the casual table in the breakfast room. There you go. Now, what's that fork? This one? Mm -hmm. This is salad fork. Salad fork, your dinner fork. And do you know if we went to a really, really foo-foo restaurant, we might have another fork. Would that confuse you? Yes. Maybe. And if we had soup, we'd have a soup spoon. And if we had iced tea, we'd have another spoon. This could get confusing, guys. <laughs> now, how old are you? Nine. Nine. That could really confuse a nine-year-old. You learned pretty quickly, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I think you're pretty smart. You gonna go home and share this with mom and dad? Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I think I hear our special dessert coming in the door. <gasps> it's time to celebrate. <laughs> there you go. Johnson, I promised you a cake for a celebration. Mm -hmm. Our friend Lucy Van Doren just made us a wonderful simple dessert. Lucy, tell me about it. It's a homemade angel food cake. Yes, uh, all you do is slice it in three layers just like you would, uh, you know, a regular cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, you use a serrated knife because if you don't, it will tear it. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then all you do is take a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple, an eight ounce Cool Whip, and two instant puddings, vanilla puddings. And you don't do anything except mix the, those three ingredients together. If you put anything else in it, it's gonna be too gooey. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Very simple. And that looks simple, looks elegant. Looks like it's going to be light. It is. It's very looks light. Looks like it's going to be light. And you can, you don't have to make a homemade cake. No. You can go to the store and for what, $1.99? Right. Buy an angel food cake, show up at homecoming with this, right. and somebody's going to think you've cooked all day. <laughs> Garnish it with strawberries, right? right? Whatever mm -hmm. fruit is in season. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to enjoy this. Thank you, Lucy, for stopping well, by to welcome. help us celebrate our one uh, year anniversary. You can also do the sides if you want to oh, with yeah. another mix of Cool Whip and right. pineapple and right. pudding. Right. Right. Um, and we love simple desserts. Right. This, is, this is a good simple dessert. We promised you a simple dessert for our one-year anniversary. Thank you so much, guys. We'll be back. Take care. Bye.